Srimad Bhagavatam. Now the description of Viratrupa. And we heard how different planetary systems are his waist and knees and all this. And his nails are the breeding ground of electricity, that is lightning, stones and iron ores. Bahavo loka palanam prayasha kshema karmanam. The Lord's arms are the productive fields for the great demigods and other leaders of the living entities who protect the general mass. Vikramo burbuvah svash cha kshemasya sharanasya cha sarva kama varasya pi haresh charana aspadam. Thus, the forward steps of the Lord are the shelter for the upper, lower and heavenly planets, as well as for all that we need. His lotus feet serve as protection from all kinds of fear. Apam viryasya sargasya parjanyasya prajapate Pungshak Shishna Upasta Stu Prajatyananda Nirvrite. From the Lord's genitals originate water, semen, generatives, rains, and the procreators. His genitals are the cause of a pleasure that counteracts the distress of begetting. The, uh, here in commentary, Sai Maharaj is saying the genitals and the pleasure of begetting counteract the distresses of family encumbrances. One would cease to generate altogether if there were not, by the grace of the Lord, a coating, a pleasure giving substance on the surface of the generative organs. This substance gives a pleasure so intense that it counteracts fully the distress of family encumbrance. A person is so captivated by this pleasure giving substance that he is not satisfied by begetting a single child, but increases the number of children with great risk in regard to maintaining them simply for this pleasure giving substance. This pleasure-giving substance is not false, however, because it originates from the transcendental body of the Lord. This is also in Upanishad uh, explained. In other words, the pleasure-giving substance is a reality, but it has taken on an aspect of pervertedness on account of material contamination. In the material world, sex life is the cause of many distresses on account of material contact. Therefore, the sex life in the material world should not be encouraged beyond the necessity. There is a necessity for generating progeny even in the material world, but such generation of children must be carried out with the full responsibility for spiritual values. The spiritual values of life can be realized in the human form of material existence. And the human being must adopt family planning with reference to the context of spiritual values and not otherwise. The degraded form of family restriction by use of contraceptives, etc., is the grossest type of material contamination. Materialists who use these devices want to fully utilize the pleasure potency of the coating on the genitals by artificial means without knowing the spiritual importance. And without knowledge of spiritual values, 
the less intelligent man tries to utilize only the material sense pleasure of the genitals. So because of this pleasure, they are ready to sacrifice that suffering which comes, means they are ready to accept that suffering which will come by delivering a child and then maintaining like this. So they cannot resist. But these artificial things, it seems like it will uh, give only pleasure and no trouble, but that is not correct. You will get suffering as a reaction in another way. Uh, it is impossible to cheat uh, material nature or supreme Lord, so you cannot avoid. But if someone can practice brahmacharya, that is retaining, that means he is, he can tolerate that urge for this, then he will be free. That is real freedom. Uh, also in Rupa Goswami's Upadashamrita, he told there, first verse, Vacho Vega Manasakroda Vegam, Jiva Vegam Udar Upasta Vegam, Upasta Vegam, that one has to tolerate then he will be uh, released, relieved from that reaction. But you will find these materialists, they are using these contraceptives, many systems try to avoid, uh, but you cannot avoid getting suffering, you will get it. But I was surprised, I saw in uh, Brihat Aranyaka Upanishad, uh, there for Brahmins, those who uh, are householders, how they will, uh, how they should produce children, there is some system, some ritual like this, and there also the this option is given if that Brahmin does not want to have child, what he has to do. So, uh, if I can find, yes, there is some, but this is, of course, you have to do according to Shastra. Brihatarani Kovanisha, the Shastra. Is coming from Krishna. So, yes. Uh, one second. There is one a ritual. Mm. If uh, with its stamp, I cannot read everything because there is a, a complete ritual and how one has to uh, meditate and how he will produce child. But so here, uh, Many persons born in Brahmana families devoid of the strength of karma or jnana, devoid of sukritis, not knowing this, perform intercourse and leave this world. Like normal intercourse and they are like coming and going. But there is this uh, ritual, semen may also be ejected during sleep or waking. That is also wasted. But here you have then uh, in that case, he should touch the semen or invoke a mantra using the following mantras and th that they are given. I accept that semen which has fallen to earth or float to water and plants. May my organ attain again its strength and excellence, taking it with his ring finger and thumb for the first mantra, or he should smear it on his chest or between his brows for the second mantra. And then there is further description. Uh, 
uh, uh, I'm not reading everything because whole, but only this point. If he desires her, means wife, but does not want pregnancy, he should place his organ in her, joining his mouth to hers, and holding his breath, release semen. Then this mantra he will utter, the translation is, by my virility and semen, I take the semen. She becomes devoid of semen. She will not get pregnant. If he desires that she become pregnant, he places his organ in her, joins his mouth to hers, and after releasing semen, breathes, saying, and then this mantra is there, by virility and semen, I implant the semen. She becomes pregnant. There's only one part that is uh, many uh, that what he has to say if child is to be famous and uh, what wife has to do and if he desires that his son is fair in complexion, studies the Vedas and has full span of life, then he should have someone cook rice with milk and he and his wife should eat it with ghee. They will be able to have such a son. And if he desires son of reddish complexion or dark complexion and he will study the Vedas, then what they should eat? Like he should have someone cook rice with water and uh, even with meat, one, one procedure is, one procedure is, if he desires a son who is learned, famous, attends assemblies, speak nicely, masters the Vedas, and has full span of life, means he will not have short life, he should have, that Brahmin, he should have someone cook rice with meat, mangsa in Sanskrit, mangsa udanam. He and his wife should eat it with ghee. They will be able to have such a son. And there are other also how they should do next morning, purifying ghee. I am strength all this. So there is complete one uh, topic there. Uh, the Satya Kama one sage. Um, let me find. Yes, Janaka Ayus Ayastuna, one uh, sage, taught this system to his disciple Satyakama, son of Jabala, and said, if one, uh, yes. So there is one system for Brahmins. And I was surprised that it is also possible that he, if he does not want pregnancy, it is also possible. By that uh, ritual and that mantra, then she will not get pregnant. So that is, you see, by Supreme Lord in Shastra about contraception. But of course, you need to be Brahmin and you have to follow everything this under the guidance of Shastra, that means Guru, then this is also possible. But this artificial thing is another thing. You will not be released from suffering. You will get suffering in another way. You cannot avoid suffering, but this one is not like that. And you can also decide what kind of sun you want or what kind of progeny, and you have to take that either rice with milk or with ghee or meat, uh, meat also. It is not mentioned which one, 
but uh, that one has to learn from bona fide guru uh, in that receptorial channel. That Satya Kama, you know, Satya Kama is a son of Jabala. It is in Upanishads. He came, he wanted to get knowledge, Brahmagya. He approached one guru. Then that guru said, first you have to tell me which gotra you are, which family, you are Brahmin or Kshatriya or what, because one should not teach Veda to Shudra, that is prohibited. It can be taught to Vaishya, Kshatriya and Brahmin, but accordingly there is also uh, to whom what, so then that boy said, I don't know. Then his teacher said, then you ask your mother. He went to his mother and asked her, and she said, actually, I don't know. Because I was engaged in many services as a young, so with many men. So I don't know actually who is your father? So it is embarrassing uh, thing. That boy, so yes, mother told him, you just say that you are a son of Jabala, that you, you don't know who is your father. She, your mother said she does not know because of this reason. So he came back to Guru and he said, I don't know which gotra I belong, because my mother said in, when she was young, she was serving many and uh, engaged in certain service. So I do, she said, I, don't, uh, I cannot say who is your father, so I don't know who is my father. So because he spoke the truth, it was embarrassing, but yet he spoke the truth. So immediately that Guru accepted him. You are a Brahmin. Because according to Shastra, it has to be judged according to qualities. And work means certain tendency. So because he spoke truthfully, he accepted him as Brahmin. He said, yes, you come. I will teach you. Brahmagyan, I will teach you, you are a Brahmin. So he is, his name is Satya Kama, and he taught to others also, after getting that knowledge, he taught to others. So this is one kind of, in Upanishads you will have many kinds of Vidya, like Hani Vidya, that Vidya, so many Vidya, so many knowledges and procedures how to realize Brahman, so this one is also for progeny, the one kind of vidya you have to learn from Guru. And there also this, it is not contraceptive, artificial, but it is procedure that if you don't want progeny, you, you do like this and she will not get pregnant. Although receiving semen, but not get pregnant. So this is, everything is possible by Supreme Lord. He can do whatever he likes. He can make things and he can uh, change because it is his law. Our Gurudev Pursudot is in Shastra, that verse. Kartum, uh, akartum, anetar kartum. Supreme Lord is almighty omnipotent. He can do whatever he likes. And he can also undo. Like in computer that uh, some Word or Excel or something, you, you make some change and then if, if you want to back, then you press that undo and it will back change. But in this world, if someone like falls down and he breaks his leg, how you will undo that? But Krishna can undo. 
that he can undo. And moreover, Gurdjieff told, he can undo what he undid. He can undo the undo. Like for example, someone fell and broke his neck. Krishna can make that as he uh, back. It did not happen. Again, he may change to previous that yes, his leg is broken. He can do whatever he likes. And also his instructions in Shastra, if you will follow as per injunction of Shastra, that result you will get. If you do exactly as it is and under the guidance of a realized soul, then Krishna will fulfill that because it is he, he gave that uh, procedure and this will be the result. So here you, you have for children also, or for not having child. So this pleasure, and also it is, it is in Upanishad, it is uh, stated there that genital is ananda, it one kind of, it is happiness, different descriptions there. So because of this, people, they, they are searching for this, and then a reaction comes, uh, but still they cannot give up. But that is why you will find in Shastra, Brihad Vrata. Vrata means some vow. And Brihad means big vow. Brihad Vrata. Uh, one who is doing is Brihad Vrati. Wh what is that? To observe celibacy. If one can do that, then he will escape all that suffering which comes with misuse of that. But if it is for procreation in this Brahmin uh, to, to continue that uh, tradition and for the service of Narayana and like this, that is another thing but only for sense enjoyment and for producing children for your own self-interest, then that is reactionary. You will have to suffer that separation, grief, and so many troubles like this. As we know also from Shastra, that Atma Dev and Chitra Ketu and like this. Uh, so any kind of separate enjoyment will bring suffering as a reaction. But what is uh, done for the service of Krishna, that will bring happiness, transcendental happiness. And one has to do as per the order of Krishna for him, what Krishna wants from him. It is not the same for all. Payur Yamasya Mitrasya Parimokshasya Narada Himsaya Nirriter Mrityor Nirayasya Gudam Smrita. It is also, I was surprised that in Brihatarani, one topic is there, the how man, that Brahmin, has to approach wife. And if she will not want, how he should speak to her. And if still she will not want, then he should give some presents like this. How to induce her? Everything is there written. That is given by Supreme Lord. Because he knows how he created everything and how, what is the system and all Everything is there. I was surprised. I did not know that such topic is and with a vivid description how to do this. Payur Yamasya Mitra, O Narada, the evacuating outlet of the universal form of the Lord is the abode of the controlling deity of death. 
Mitra and the evacuating hole and the rectum of the Lord is the place of envy, misfortune, death, hell, etc. Para buter adharmasya tamasash chapi paschima nadyo nada nadinam cha gotranam asti samhati. The back of the Lord is the place for all kinds of frustration and ignorance as well as for immorality. From his veins flow the great rivers and rivulets and on his bones are stacked the great mountains. Uh, also, uh, our dead Shroti Maharaj of Prabhupada disciple, he had that CD that he could, by mantra, remove poison from snake poison or dog poison from someone who is bitten without any medicine or any operation or, or anything. By the means of mantra, uh, our Gurudev told and Srila Bharati Maharaj also told, during Brajamandal Parikrama, one was bitten by dog and he was to be taken to Mathura. It will take long time and get injection and all this. So they requested Sharoti Maharaj and at first he did not want, then they were uh, uh, requesting, no, they will miss Parikrama and so many disturbances like this. So then he put him on one wheel, one platform, one, like one platform wheel, and only by chanting that mantra, that wheel was himself. Without anyone pushing that wheel on which that beaten person uh, was standing, it start to rotate by itself, means by the means of that mantra, and rotating for some time. Then when it stopped rotating, then that Shruti Maharaj said, all poison is gone now. And it is really, it was like that. So you have such vidyas in India. Uh, so then everyone approached Shruti Maharaj, you please teach us this. He said, I cannot teach you like this. I will give you some, or I will read that Brihataranika Upanishad and I will make, you, you cannot get it like that. Shroti Maharaj said, you will have to submit to that preceptorial channel and do austerity, do that practice. When you will uh, do that and by the grace, you will get that CD or that video, otherwise not. So here also it is meant for Brahmins uh, and you have to receive it from someone who has that knowledge, then it will work. So everything must be done under the guidance of person who is realized in that knowledge and you have to follow his instructions, then you can get that result. Avyakta rasa sindunam bhutana bhutanam nidhanasya cha udaram viditam punksho hridaya manasah padam. The impersonal feature of the Lord is the abode of great oceans and his belly is the resting place for the materially annihilated living entities. His heart is the abode of the subtle material bodies of living beings. Thus it is known by the intelligent class of man. Dharmasya mama tubyam cha kumaranam bhavasya cha vigyanasya cha sattvasya parasyatma parayanam also, the consciousness of that great personality is the abode of religious principles. Mine, yours, and those of the four bachelors, Sanak, Sanatan, Sanat Kumar, and Sanandan. That consciousness is also the abode of truth and transcendental knowledge. 
my means Brahma, Narad, for Kumaras, they are that. Also, our Srila Toriyashai Maharaj told, in that village where he was, one person did something, I don't remember what happened, so one, another person became angry on him. So he knew some Vidya, he had some perfection, so he was chanting that, well, that Brahmin, something he was chanting, and the point was when that person was getting married and they were cooking for that marriage ceremony, the water was boiling and the rice was there cooking, but it never cooked because that Brahmin had that knowledge how to make this that rice will not be cooked, so everything was spoiled. They could not cook the rice. All the water ever was boiling, but could not be cooked. It remained hard all the time. So finally, they, they had to submit to that Brahmin and beg forgiveness like this. Then he stopped it, then they could cook. So such sort of uh, Vidya is also there. Our Gurudev also met that one yogi when he was student in hostel. One yogi came. He said, today I will walk on fire. So one tree was, one tree fell down and all the students, they brought that and they made a big fire and the yogi came and was walking and he even entered into fire inside. Gurudev said, I saw this with my own eyes. And he was calling us to come near. And Gurudev said before, when we made that fire, it was burning like anything because it was a big fire. You could not stand close to it. It was heat. But when Yogi was inside, then he was calling us to come near and we were approaching and there was no heat. And we, come, we came very close, like a few centimeters in front of fire, and we did not feel any heat. And the yogi was standing inside the fire, huge fire. And then he told us, you come inside also. Then we said, but none of us had the courage to do that. So, but he was repeatedly telling them, nothing will happen, you come inside. But they, they had no courage, so then that yogi became angry and he also left. And then Guru said, immediately after we again felt that heat from fire. Why? Because they have connection with that Devata Agni. There are all Devatas of Agni, of water, of wind, of all this. So if they, they have those videos, that those cities, they can do that. Also with water like this. Water was boiling, but no effect. Rice could not be cooked. You will find this in Upanishads also about how these elements, what they are controlling and all this. But of course, this is all for, for worldly. Our main point is we have to accept devotion to Krishna, that is the real benefit. But you will find in uh, Karma Kant, there is a description of certain ritual and the result you will get. So if you do it, you will get that result. And it really happens, why? So that they will get faith in Vedic scriptures. Then they will want to know more and like this. So really it works. By the will of Krishna it works. And the reason is that they will get faith in Vedas and they will go more deep and ultimately they will understand that purpose of all the Vedas is devotion to Krishna. And like in this world, we did not directly see who is our father. 
in in semen like we we did not see with eyes but we came to know later from mother he's your father or nowadays they are checking their dna like this but the point is you did not directly see like that veda mata we we don't know that who is our actual father supreme lord we don't know we did not see we have to come to know from veda that is why veda is mata mother she will tell us you are actually related to supreme lord jatova imani bhutani jayante jeno jatani jivanti tad prajanti avisham shanti tad dijivya sasada teva brahma you are from brahma supreme lord veda mata will say so veda has many branches and in karma kant you will have many such things in order to produce faith like here they directly they saw how he was in connection with agni and he was water and that person he was having that capability of removing poison what scientists will say doctors like this but the thing is to get that cd or that video there is a procedure also it is not you will just read book and think you can do no you have to submit to that someone who is realized in that and you can get but in the same way you we have to get devotion to supreme lord from someone who has bhakti to bhagavad bhakta sangena parijayate only from devotee you can get not from anyone else dharmasya mama tubyam cha kumaranam bhavasya cha vigyanasya cha satvasya parasyatma parayanam also the consciousness uh, this i already read sorry aham bhavan bhavas chaiva ta ime muna yograja sura sura nara naga khaga mriga sari sripa gandharva saraso yaksha raksho bhuta ganoraga pashavah pitarah siddha vidya drash charana druma anya cha vivida jiva jala stalana bhau kasa grahar ksha ketava staras taritah stana itnava sarvam purusha evedam bhutam bhavyam bhavachayat tenedam avritam vishvam vitastim adi tishtati beginning from me brahma is speaking beginning from me down to you that is narad and bhava that is shiva all the great sages who were born before you the demigods the demons the nagas the snakes the human beings the birds the beasts as well as the reptiles etc and all phenomenal manifestations of the universes namely the planets stars asteroids luminaries lightning uh, lightning thunder and the inhabitants of the different planetary systems namely the Gan gandharvas apsaras yakshas rakshas bhutaganas that is ghosts uragas pashus pitas siddhas vidya dharas charanas and all other different varieties of living entities 
including the birds, beasts, trees, and everything that be, are all covered by the universal form of the Lord at all times, namely past, present, and future. Although he is transcendental to all of them, eternally existing in a form not exceeding nine inches. So everything is included in Supreme Lord's Viratrupa. It's like his body. But he is also separate from that as the transcendental form. And this nine inches, I think that is the size of heart. Not mentioned here. Yes, nine inches, a super soul. That is size of heart. Here in commentary, the Supreme Personality of Godhead by his partial representation measuring not more than nine inches a super soul that is transcendental expands by his potential energy in the shape of the universal form which includes everything manifested in different varieties of organic and inorganic materials. Everything is within Viratrupa. So some, they are saying artificial intelligence and this and all this. It is, nothing is artificial. Everything is included in Supreme Lord, in his Viratrupa, and he is controlling everything. Nothing can be outside of his control. Impossible. And nothing is actually artificial. He made all laws and he made all materials and he can change at any time. He can undo and undo the undo. Like some person died. Krishna can undo that. He will be alive again. He can do. And again, he can make him die. Like uh, also, Narat also did that. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu showed. So there, all, all. so what, what inventions are going on in this world? It is because Krishna gives inspiration, that sort of vision to some scientist or someone. No one gets anything independent of Krishna and nothing can go out of control of Krishna. It can go out of control of like human beings, something, but not out of control of Krishna. Everything is within him. Here further Sai Maharaj is saying, yes, the manifested varieties of the universe are therefore not different from the Lord. Just as golden ornaments of different shapes and forms are not different from the original stock reserve of gold. In other words, the Lord is the Supreme Person who controls everything within the creation and still he remains the Supreme separate entity. Identity distinct from all manifested material creation because Achintya Beda Beda, that is his potency not different from him, but still he's different and everything is under his control. In the Bhagavad Gita, nothing can happen in this world without his sanction. And he's all good. Whatever is happening by his will, it is for the good of all, for the best of all. But we are not able to perceive that unless we are on that level of realization and therefore is said to be Jogeshwara. Everything rests on the potency of Lord Shri Krishna, and still the Lord is different from, or from and transcendental to all such identities. In the Vedic Purusha Sukta of the Rik Mantra, this is also confirmed. When you do Archan, there you have to chant that Purusha Sukta Mantra from Rik Veda. There, all description about Supreme Lord is there. Also, this Achintya Veda, Veda, how he is everything. 
This philosophical truth of simultaneous oneness and difference was propounded by Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and it is known as Achintya Veda Veda Tattva. Brahma, Narat and all others are simultaneously one with the Lord and different from the Supreme Lord. We are all one with him. Just as the gold ornaments are one in quality with the stock gold, but the individual gold ornament is never equal in quantity with the stock gold. The stock gold is never exhausted, even if there are innumerable ornaments emanating from the stock, because the stock is Purnam, complete. Even if Purnam is deducted from the Purnam, Purna minus Purna, still the Supreme Purnam remains the same Purnam. This fact is inconceivable to our present imperfect senses. Lord Chaitanya therefore defined his theory of philosophy as achintya, inconceivable, and as confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita as well as in the Bhagavatam, Lord Chaitanya's theory of achintya beda beda tattva is the perfect philosophy of the absolute truth. This is the final development of all. Shankar and then Ramanuja Madhva, all this final development, final synthesis is Achintya Veda Veda. It harmonizes all statements in the Shastra perfectly. Here Sai Maharaj saying we are in quality one with him, but in quantity different. That is true in one aspect if we see only. But if you go even more subtle, we are also qualitatively different from Krishna because he is substance, we are potency. We are always servant because part of substance is also substance. Part of diamond is also diamond. Part of infinite is also infinite. That's Swangsha avatar, Swangsha. But the jivas are vibhinangsha, separated parts, because they are parts of his potency. Like diamond and his shine, they can never be separated. They are one. Shine is dependent on diamond. So, but if you collect all the particles of shine, still they will not be diamond. Part of diamond will be diamond. But uh, that light is not the substance diamond, it is his potency or his attribute. Ramanuja used to explain as attribute of Brahman, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told it is Shakti, it is his potency. So we are quantitatively and qualitatively different from Krishna being part of his potency. And also we are qualitatively different from his internal potency personal associates of Krishna, those Nitya Siddhas of Sarup Shakti, we are marginal potency. We require their grace to get devotion or to get the service of Krishna. We need, we cannot independently of them. They are also potency, we are also potency, but we are particular potency. And because of that, when, if we become averse to Krishna, we can be overpowered by Maya. But they can never come under the influence of Maya. Impossible. They have by default, they have devotion. So if we submit to them, then we can have. If we become averse, we don't want to serve Krishna, then we are overcome by Maya. Sva Dishnyam Pratapan Prano Bahischa Pratapati Aso Evam virajam pratapams tapati antar bahir bahih puman. The sun illuminates both internally and externally by expanding its radiation. Similarly, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, by expanding his universal form, maintains everything in the creation, both internally and externally. 
everything is under his control. Nothing can go outside of his control. Everything is within him and he is all good. Jivas will get the fruits of their actions by which they will learn a lesson. So, since Krishna is in control of everything and he is all good, so there is no worry. The only thing is, uh, this lesson we have to understand, that being averse to Krishna is not good. We have to submit to him and serve him, that is good. So this we can get by his grace, by Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu is grace of Krishna, so only this is what is valuable. Everything else is according to karma it is going on and it is for our rectification. It is, that is also grace of Krishna. So tomorrow we will further here.